Good morning, good morning. You all left some comments and you said, I can't believe in the Father's Day video that you didn't say home vlog. Home vlog. I totally forgot, I'm sorry. Yeah, you started it without me because I yeah. was in the shower. I just, it's, I, that's your thing. Home vlog. Yeah, so my bad. Home with thief vlog work. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we did the Father's Day video mm -hmm. and some stuff hadn't come yet. It, it came the very next day and then another present came today. So it came a few days later. Um, so we wanted to open those so you could show the presents that we got. Well, I already opened one. So it's like a transformative kind of a gift. So we'll show you right now. Can you see it? Um, I need to like set it on something. Like a book? Yeah. There it goes. There it goes. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh yeah. There it is. It's a coffee mug that transforms to show off a picture of me and Jackson and Bandit. I thought it was so fun. I love this. It's my new favorite coffee mug. I know, I kind of wish I'd gotten one for myself too. But there it is. That's Jackson petting brother Bandit. I love this. Oh. Yeah. It's really like pretty good quality too. Yeah. I thought so too. Yeah, and the picture just like wraps around. I like that the handle stays black, but you can sort of see that it's like hot. Yeah. And so I'm glad that finally came. And there's one more. So this one you haven't seen yet. It just came in the mail. Okay. Okay, so. Are you gonna show me? Yeah, I'm gonna hand it to you. Okay. I'm sorry I didn't wrap this or anything, but this is just how it came. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh! Look at that. Look at this. Are these socks? <laughs> yeah, I know you don't like socks, but like. <laughs> Look at, it's like a million pictures of Jackson. Oh, <laughs> well, and they're all different too. Oh, well, it's two different pictures. That's so much fun. My goodness. <laughs> Look at how much fun this is. I thought that was so cute. I got I like two. This. I know, I, I love that too. I got two pairs um, of socks just in case because I wasn't sure if like, I don't know. I know you don't love socks, but I got you two pairs. Well, I'm gonna wear these all the time. So these were actually, a, huh? I need to get me a pair of white New Balances. Oh no. And then I'm gonna wear these socks. They look really big. They do look really big. I don't know, I think they're gonna be too big. I got pretty big feet. <laughs> but So these are actually screenshots from the very first video that we took of him laughing. Oh. Yeah. That's fun. So yeah. And they're, it's like pretty good. Like you you didn't cut the picture out, right? No, like I didn't. Did I that? just sent her the screenshot, yeah. That's pretty, like they did pretty good. Look how cute he is. Do you really like them? Yeah, these are fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. I can't wait. They're yeah. kind of weird socks, but. Should I put them on? I didn't wash them yet. Okay, I yeah, won't we'll put them wait, on we'll yet. We'll wait till we wash them, but. I love happy, this. happy Father's Day! Tomato update. This is a tomato update. We are almost ready to pick about three of them. Only three? Yeah, these three right here. Look at these. Yeah, oh, I didn't even see those. Yeah, how do you know when to pick them? Well, this one I think is like. <gasps> oh, oh no! You picked it. I didn't even do anything. Well, now we have one. Oh, shoot. Should I, bet... I pick this one too? Yeah, it literally just popped right off. Okay. So now. Oh, we have two. We can try them. You want to try them right now? I want, don't you want to save it for like a... We a... can't save two tomatoes. Well, no, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> We're I mean... going to eat these two and then use the rest to make a salad. Oh no, another one fell off. Oh, did it? Oh my gosh. All right. I think these are... Oh, it didn't fall off. It was like attached to the mint. I think it's so weird too that the end of the flower was attached to the bottom. Yeah. Huh. All right, you ready so to wait, eat some tomatoes? Do we? We don't need to clean them, right? Because they're... Yeah, no, they're fine. Just eat them. Should I eat it? Yeah. It smells like a tomato. But it's it does smell <laughs> like a tomato. Okay. Is it good? It was really good. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. No, it's good. Yeah. It only took like four months. And now we have three tomatoes. That one sounded crunchy. Yeah, it almost wasn't as ripe as the other one. <laughs> Good though. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. 
Those are delicious. <laughs> I'm glad that we made tomatoes and we're able to eat three of them. <laughs> Me too. Also, speaking of Father's Day, I framed this. It says, I love you this much, and those are Jackson's little handprints. This was your Father's Day card. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I think so too. I wish I could read down here where it says, Jackson, June 2020. Well, and I also wish I hadn't written this, or I wish Jackson hadn't written this way up top here. Oh yeah. <laughs> I wish that it was more centered in the frame, but that's just how it looks. So every time that Jackson finds something that he loves, I buy a toy that has something to do with that. So like he loves tags. And so I was like, oh, I'm gonna get him this elephant that has tags all over it. A lot of you sent me messages that were like, get him a taggy blanket. And so there was all of these Etsy shops that sell taggy blankets. Um, and then Tim went to Target. We had to get some just like essential stuff. And he saw this and he's like, should I get him a taggy elephant? Yeah. And he wasn't too like keen on this elephant at first. And now he seems like he's okay with it. Do you love your elephant? Well, we found out that he really enjoys playing peekaboo like this. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. <laughs> peekaboo. Whoa. Peekaboo. <laughs> peekaboo. Whoa. Peekaboo. Wow. And so that's how we've gotten him used to the elephant. But also when, when he was first like not okay with the, I think he didn't like the face. So oh, yeah. then we were just flipping it over and it's just a blanket on the other side Yeah. with the tags are still visible. So we were like, okay, here's just a blanket with some tags. And then he was okay with it. What do you think? What do you think? That's the elephant blanket. But then for his seven month birthday party day, we got him this. So he loves the straps on his high chair. Every time we put him in his high chair, he grabs the straps. Whoa. And so I was like, I'm going to get him a cube with a million straps on it. Right. Do you love it? He's not like totally sure about it yet, but I think it has one zipper. He likes zippers a lot. So it has a zipper, like, um, like a big zipper that you can pull on. But this also was another thing that came after his birthday. So that's why you're seeing it today. I feel like he's just enamored with the, like the black thing that's in my hand. He likes the camera. And I think, yeah, because it is black, it's very like, con it's very contrasted to like your bright shirt. So he sees it and he's oh, like, yeah. I want that. I want that thing in your hand. Do you want this? Hello. <laughs> so you guys see how he kind of has his bottom lip underneath his top lip? I think he's trying to figure out his mmm sounds. Mmm, mama. Mmm, mama. Mmm, mama. mama. He's trying so hard to grab the camera. Ma, 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 ma. Do you want this? <gasps> you want your little cube friend? This is Cubie. <gasps> Cubie. He's like, no. Ma, 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 ma. <laughs> ma, 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 ma. He's so excited. <gasps> oh. <laughs> it's so funny, huh? Very funny. <laughs> Mama. Mama, mama, mama. Mm. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Mama, mama, mama. He really is trying so hard. Buddy. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That was it. Now you just have to put it together. Mama. Look, you talk. Oh. oh, right on the lens. Okay. <laughs> so Jackson just went to sleep mm -hmm. for his midday nap. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna have our live show. We have, I wanna say, we have two more mail vlogs and we'll be fully opened all the mail. Yeah, we'll be caught up. Yeah, we'll be caught up. There you go, that's the word. So, um, which is exciting because I think it's taken us this entire quarantine to get caught up. We it did has. It. We did it. We did it. I don't know that we're gonna open our PO box up anytime soon because I still need to figure out where to put everything that you guys sent us. Right. So, I don't know if we're gonna open it back up, but we do really appreciate everybody that's thought about us, sent us something, has come to the live shows and chatted with us live. Um, we've had so much fun talking to you guys. Yeah. And we'll show you when we actually go live. So another another fun fact about the live shows is that we ordered a HDMI to USB adapter so that we can use a better camera on the oh, live yeah. shows. Because a lot of you are like, this camera is not good. And you're right. <laughs> and it should be here on Friday. Yeah. And if that doesn't work, in sometime in July, which is now July, Sony said that we should be able to hook this camera up using USB and use it as a webcam. Oh, really? Yeah. I found oh. out about this after I had ordered the other thing. Oh, no. So, 
That's my luck. Huh. Oh, let's do a live show. That's quarantine. Bye-bye. There it is. We are live right now. We're near the end, so everybody's saying goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for hanging out with us today in the live show. They're saying hi, future me. Hi. Oh, buddy, buddy. Hi, me. It me. Hi. It me. Um. <laughs> have a great day. I hope that you have a great day. We had so much fun chatting with you and opening up mail with you and... Well, if you guys ever wanted to know what the microphone looks like that Jackson's always grabbing for, there it is. There it is. Caught you. <laughs> I have almonds in my mouth, but I caught you. I'm making my pizza dia, my pizza quesadilla. So you know, I got... Pizza dilla? What also we got, it's not pronounced pizza dilla. <laughs> we also got the Rayos. We found out from you it's pronounced Rayos, but this time we're trying the tomato basil sauce. Mm. So, love this stuff, very excited. Oh, so many people in the live show were asking what we're having for dinner tonight. Oh yeah, I and think we're gonna have um, chimichangas. I think we're gonna have spaghetti. Are we? Yeah, because we took meat out of the freezer. Oh, for spaghetti? For spaghetti, and I don't want it to go bad. Oh, okay. Is that a good idea or a bad idea? Sure. We can have it tomorrow. I mean, it's, spaghetti's easy, so that'll be an easy dinner. All right. But also, maybe we'll have it tomorrow because that won't be exciting for to show them. Okay. Like, you've seen spaghetti. It's true. Right? Pasta. I think so. Sometimes people get mad when we call it spaghetti because we're not using spaghetti noodles. So... What pasta. if we were tonight, though? You don't know. We, we don't have Hasn't spaghetti noodles. Hasn't happened yet. <laughs> we do. Do we? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think it's we right did. It's right there. Oh. Do, 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 into our pantry. Those are spaghetti noodles right there. Where? Are they? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Did they you just really just do everywhere. that? You see, there's spaghetti. Oh. <laughs> Proved it. What the By heck? spilling them everywhere. Thanks. So this is after our spaghetti catastrophe? You remember earlier in the video? What? When we ate tomatoes off of our tomato plant? Yeah. It was a simpler time back then. <laughs> back before the great spaghetti incident of 2020. It's true. <laughs> so now what are you doing? I'm making my quesadillas. Oh, we already talked about this, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. So I'm making those. I love this pizza sauce, or not pizza sauce, it's just like spaghetti sauce, but it's very delicious. And then I take a couple of pepperonis and I dice them up. I was like, that's an empty package of pepperoni. No, there's a few in here. I dice them up into like little smaller pieces of pepperoni. Like the kind you used to get in elementary school. Oh yeah, like the little tiny, they were almost like the size of pencil erasers. They were like cubes though. Were they? Yeah. Oh, from like the, the rectangle pizza. Yeah. Oh, I was talking about like, Remember when they had like mini pepperonis for oh, yeah. um for like the lunchable things? Yeah. Yeah, I was talking about that. Oh, gotcha. And then just put a little cheese on there, top it with another another quesadilla thingy, another tortilla. tortilla. Yeah. Put it in here, broil it for a second. Delicious. So another thing that happened too was we got this for Naomi. Oh, a lot of people said, um, why didn't we name the mixer Sir Mix a lot? Oh. Why didn't we name it that? Does Sir Makes a Lot know how to like bake cookies? I mean, probably. It's in his name. He's right. a mixer. No. <laughs> so I have to put this on and then try to adjust the bowl up to make sure that it's scraping correctly. See how it does. Make sure it's not scraping too much. This was just a knockoff one. This one was like $20 or something like that. Yeah, one of you were like, get this thing, but don't get the name brand one. Get the... Uh, the off the off brand one because it's cheaper and it works just the same. Yeah. So thanks for that. Thanks Save us for the money. tip. Well, while you're trying to figure that out, I made my pizza quesadillas. I'm about to put them into the toaster oven to broil. But this is what I this is like the amount of sauce, the amount of cheese that I use. I just wanted to show you in case you were curious. This is a matching set, so this is the identical socks. Oh. And they're clean now. So gotta put them on. Let's see. Do they fit? Uh, see, maybe I got them too big. Fit? <laughs> They're like dad socks. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. I'm going to wear them for the rest of the day. Are you? Yeah. Even though you hate socks? Yeah. But you love these socks. I love these socks. Let's see. Let's see his little happy face. But I feel like he just looks so happy on these socks. Yeah, right here on the top. These two. Yeah. That's I the best. These. I love these so much. So I got you two pairs. Maybe I'll just wear the other pair. Okay. Okay. We can have matching pairs. We can. Well, there it is. Another thing that was announced after we made our video from Disney Springs. What? Uh, Cirque du Soleil Drawn to Life is now selling tickets for November. Oh, are they? Yeah. So, oh. Drawn to Life may 
like this is a huge may. Like I, there, this is not 100% confirmed that Draw to Life is Drawn to Life is coming in November. This is saying they may open in November. And that's the fact that they're selling tickets. It is getting ready to storm. I don't know if you can see just how dark it is out there, but it's pretty dark. So the last of the baby's birthday toys finally came in the mail. This is one of the things we ordered before his birthday. We thought we were gonna get it by his birthday. We ended up getting it a little bit later. So I think everything's, we got the socks, which I'm wearing my socks. I love them. They're super soft. We got his strap like little cube toy, which he also really likes a lot. Tim got his mug with the picture of him and Bandit and Jackson. And now the last thing that needed to come in was, we got this for Jackson. It's called a basket of babies and it comes with six plushy baby dolls. We wanted to get him a baby doll to play with and we found this, we thought it was really exciting because it does help to teach him diversity, which is something that's really great. We've been trying to get some books that showcase diversity and toys that showcase diversity. And this was one of the things that we found that we were really excited to show him. So we have six baby dolls. They're all in different colored outfits. Their outfits come off. I don't think their hats come off. Yeah, I think their hats are attached, but these little outfits come off and then they come in this little basket so he can bring all of his babies everywhere. But we just thought this was really cool and I showed it to him and he was very excited about it. He can't play with it yet because I need to sanitize them first because they just came in the mail. One thing I wanted to mention about kids toys that I don't understand is a lot of these plushy toys that we're getting are not machine washable. And I didn't realize that they're only surface washable. So we're using like sanitizing spray and um, some of the stuff we were gonna like just kind of throw in the dryer for a minute to just kind of get it. I don't know if that would help kill off some of the germs and stuff, but um, this is one of the things that we were really excited to show him because he loves babies. And we got him all these baby books with pictures of babies and he loves them so much. So we thought we wanna get him some a baby doll. And then I found this that had six baby dolls and we were like, that's the one. We're getting him six baby dolls and he loves it. So I'm excited to show it to him tomorrow. We're gonna let these sanitize overnight and then we'll let him play with them tomorrow. But he saw them, he was very excited about it. So that excited me. So that was the last of the birthday presents, the last of the Father's Day presents, everything came in and Yay, it took a little bit longer. I'm not very good with time management, but they're here. All right, so I sprayed them with a sanitizing spray and I'm just gonna hang them on this little drying rack. And then he can play with these tomorrow once they're fully dry and sanitized. But I think he's really, really gonna enjoy playing with these. So I'm very excited for that. So another thing that I'm doing today is I'm getting some things together to donate to the Coalition for the Homeless in Central Florida. And I was getting together like just some baby lotion and some baby shampoo and we have some diapers that we never got to use because he grew out of the diapers too quickly. We have, they only take unopened packages. So we only have one package that's unopened, which kind of stinks because I have so many newborn diapers that we did open and we put in his like changing area. And I don't know what to do with these diapers. I don't want to throw them away. I would like to be able to give them to somebody who can use them. But I know because we're in a pandemic, it's kind of like iffy to give opened items to people. So if you guys have any suggestions on what to do with open diapers, they've just been sitting in a drawer. I haven't touched them at all, but let me know if you have an idea of what I should do with them. Cause I would like for them to go to somebody who can use them. Um, my original thought was to donate them to the coalition for the homeless, but like I said, they're opened. So I have one pack of unopened diapers. And then I think we're going to buy some additional sizes to donate to the coalition for the homeless. Um, Cause they take sizes all sizes of diapers. So I wanna be sure to give them more than just the newborn sizes. And then I also have some clothes that we were gonna donate, some baby clothes that we were gonna to donate to them and some like hygiene project uh, products. They were looking for like razors and um, toothbrushes, toothpaste, stuff like that, deodorant, things like that for the adults. So I'm gonna to try to order some of those and just do like a big care package to, um, so we can send it over. I think we're gonna actually take it to the center because I don't think that we can mail it. I'm not sure. So we're gonna do that at some point um, this week, which I am i can't wait to do. That's something that when we talked about the Coalition for the Homeless at the end of one of the videos last week sometime, I forget, it was like a few days ago, I just really felt very passionate about it. So I wanted to make sure that we did get those donated items over to them as quickly as we could. So we're doing that today. We're getting that stuff together. 
And then the weather just started. So it just started raining. It's so dark. I know you can't tell how dark it is out there on this camera, but it is so dark. It's so much darker than it looks um, on this camera. I don't know what's going on. There it is. It just started raining. Some people were saying, you guys should go in the pool today. No, oh, I wish. Not today though. Not today. But so I'm cleaning up the sink area because we need to give Jackson a bath tonight. So this tree is like gonna blow over, I feel like. Holy cow. I don't cow. know if it'll blow over. It's pretty windy. <laughs> it's really windy. But the rain is literally falling in sheets. So yay, summer storms. There it goes. It looks like a hurricane, doesn't it? It really does. This is just a normal storm. I wanted to just show you guys out the side window so you guys could see how intense it is out there. Dang. It's a windy boy. So this is a typical summer storm in Florida. Now, think about the way that Disney works right now. Think about the fact that you right now have to make a reservation in advance oh, yeah. to go to disney and this might be the day that you're going oh that's what i'm saying like i like and it pains me so much to say it because like our economy is not doing good in florida and the theme parks are a huge part of it but like now is not the time for a trip to florida no i think annual pass holders like if this rain comes you can get in your car and leave and go home but like, if you had planned a trip out here, yeah. and like, I know that people will be like, yeah, I would just like tough it out, but like, nothing's happening. Like, there's like, it's just not fun being in this rain. And like, there's lightning and thunder and wind everywhere. I think that just adds another layer to planning out your Disney vacation now, or thinking about a Disney vacation at this point in history. And just like that, it's done raining for the most part. Like it is still sort of raining, but it's not storming the way it was before. So I will say this, just like they say in Finding Nemo, just keep swimming. I was able to order disinfectant wipes, Lysol wipes from Amazon Fresh, just because I kept looking and looking and looking and looking and looking. And then finally, one day it was just like, add to cart and I was like, yes. Let's do that. And then I put like I put together a grocery order around it. It wasn't a big grocery order because we kind of have everything we need, but I was able to get Lysol wipes. We did it. Mission accomplished. Sneaking up on you. Oh, I'm just cutting up literally a hundred million scallions. Here, let me turn the light on. This came with so many scallions. I know that doesn't look like a lot, but it's a lot. Yeah, Took me Martha. A long time to... <laughs> Martha. <laughs> um, so here's what oh. I'm making. My name, my mother's name is also Martha. Oh. Why'd you say that name? I guess we can stop fighting now. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, that's a, a Superman versus Batman. What was that movie called? I think you said it. Was Batman it versus Superman? Is that what it was? I think so. Well, there you go. So this is what we're making. We're making some black bean and corn chimichangas. Ooh. Featuring so many scallions. Yes, and they forgot to send us tortillas. Oh, tortillas. so we just, yeah, we just got some from Amazon. By the way, 96% of the time that we say stuff wrong, we're just joking. Oh yeah, somebody, a while back, I said um, gourmet. I was talking about the, the bird food. I'm like, oh, gourmet bird food. And people were like, does she not know that it's pronounced gourmet? And like, yes, I do know. I was kidding. That's joking, baby. Quick question for you. What? Does your recipe require tomatoes? Because I know a guy. <laughs> it does. Yeah. I've what are you making? To, okay, so I'm making the chimichangas. Ooh. So this is black bean, corn, uh, black beans, corn, scallions. scallions, taco seasoning, and that's it. More scallions. Yeah, and more scallions. What is this buddy doing? I love it when he does this. <laughs> he just farted. Oh no. <laughs> Were you trying to work a little toot out? I love. Was that him? No, it was my tummy. Oh, that was you. Okay. I love it when he kicks his little feet. Oh, you're showing my belly. We gotta suck it in. Oh no. <gasps> Hi buddy. There it is. Oh, you wanna touch <clears throat> the camera. So, um, I'm gonna assemble my chimichangas and I think this is gonna be hard because I'm not very good at like rolling the chimichangas. Oh. Let's see. What do you think? Do you believe in mommy? Roll the chimichangas. Roll, roll the chimichangas. Roll the chimichangas. He's like, um, stop. 
Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> How many tortillas do they give us? Four. Oh, no. said gotcha. Six. Gotcha. On film. Oh. Farden. <laughs> I didn't fart. Huh? I didn't fart. Mm hmm <laughs> What the heck? Is that what this channel has become? Yeah. Just a channel where we expose each other's farts? Exposed. Exposed. <laughs> You're exposed. I'm gonna expose you. Alright, so... All this time I thought it was expose. Did you? Yeah. Really? I'm gonna expose you. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. Oh. That's gourmet. Yeah. Is this all that I'm supposed to put in here? Yeah, and then some cheese. Wait, is that it though? That's very little. Yeah, man. You gotta roll it. I know, but... Maybe that much. Let's see. Is that really it? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then it says to top it with cheese. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm topping it with cheese. Like, how much? I kind of have a lot of cheese. Oh, yeah. The cheesier the better. Okay. So, do you think that's enough? I need six. Yeah, yeah. That's good? I think so. Okay. Um, all right, so now, how am I supposed to... Okay, it says top of cheese, fold in sides of tortilla, tightly roll up into a cylinder. So, fold in sides, tightly roll into a cylinder, like this, right? Oh gosh. I'm sure people are watching this like, Jen, you're terrible at rolling tortillas. <laughs> well, you made it too small. Well, uh, you said it was supposed to be little. Well, not like that way little. What do you mean? All right, switch off with me. Hold on, wait. Like, look, look, look. There. Yeah, that's good. You just said it was too small. Well. Is it too small or what? No, it's good. What the heck? Okay. All right, so I gotta make five more of these. Tim's gonna try his hand at making a chimichanga. So like, how do you learn? I, I don't know, I just like, listen. see what I did is I read the instructions. I didn't look at anybody doing it. I guess I've seen Chipotle do it. Right. So that's kind of how I learned, I guess. Because Chipotle is my life. Chipotle is my life. How you many? Got, you got three more? Yeah. Okay. That seems like a lot in that one. A lot of cheese? A no, lot of filling? a lot of filling. Because you took some of the filling from, this is some of the filling for the other ones. But there's only two left. No, there's three left. Oh, okay. I think that is too much. Let's see here. I like how you're using your belly. Well, yeah, that's how all chefs use their belly. Do they? See, yeah. see how bad that is on the side? You have to do it more. Just he tuck it in, a little, little tucky tuck. But I also have to fry these. Yeah, see? It's perfect. Okay. We'll see. Oh, that's the only one I'm gonna do because I feel like I messed it up. You didn't mess it up, I just feel like you used too much inside. What do you think, buddy? Who did it better, mommy or daddy? He what? pointed at me. No. You see <laughs> Bud, I'm your mom. I feed you milk. You have to pick me. Pick your T mom. Touch your giraffe if it's your dad. Your mom. Oh, it was your mom. Good. Nice work. <laughs> Throw your giraffe on the ground if, if you it was your mom. Think your mom did a bad job. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson, what did you do? Did you throw your giraffe on the ground? It's all a ruse. Does that mean that you think mom did a bad job? No, he thinks his mom did the best job. Right, buddy? Team mom. TM. Mama. If you add an I in there, that's me. <laughs> no. This little buddy loves his little cube with the straps. Say, I love to chew on the straps. This is my favorite toy now. You love it? Feels nice on your little teeth? Yeah. So, after rereading the instructions, we were only supposed to make four of these and then save the other two tortillas for another time, like just for something else that we wanted to make on our own. So, I should have read the whole instructions. Um, I was only supposed to make four, made six. So what the heck. But now, I'm cooking them up in the pan, heating up the oil, waiting for it to get shimmering and sizzly, and then we're gonna add these seam side down and then flip them over and sort of give them a little press and cook them on the other side. They should be pretty delicious. And then we're just gonna serve them with a little of the pico de gallo that we made and some sour cream. Delicious. Right, buddy? Say yummy. Very yummy. Yeah. You really do love it, huh? 
You really do love that little smiley cube. Well, there it is, the final product of the chimichangas. These look delicious. So I feel like they're gonna be kind of hard to eat. <laughs> well, that's okay though. Yeah. I like how they sort of look like a dessert. They kind of do. Real talk, that was the best meal I've ever had from Marley and Spoon. So delicious. I want to eat it again right now. And the good news is, from what I heard from Jen, <laughs> I didn't make any of it, but she said it was very easy to make. Yeah. And we've also started watching the Disney gallery, The Mandalorian, which is like the behind the scenes of The Mandalorian. Very interesting so far. So far we've just been like talking to the directors. <laughs> <laughs> Are you drooling? <laughs> Was that it? Now you're ready for your bath? Whoa. <laughs> I think he just wants to bite my nose. You want to bite my nose? Is that what you want to do? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Did he burp at the same time of laughing? <laughs> oh no. He's trying to get a burp out. Are you trying to get a burp out? And laugh at the same time. You got another one? All right, so we watched a couple episodes of the Star Wars show. Whoa, every time I walk into this room, I turn like bright orange. Um, and dinner was delicious. I feel like that's, like Tim said, that was one of the best dinners we've ever had from Marley and Spoon. It was so good and it was so easy. We can totally make that again. And it was pretty like inexpensive. I think the ingredients to make it would be pretty inexpensive. So I think we'll do it again for sure. But I wanted to show you, the little buddy is having his bath. Say, is it bath time, Jackson? Jackson, is it time to hit everything? and try to turn this on, on the sink. He loves this. Is that what time it is? Yeah? Yeah, see I'm very curious how to make that work. What do I do? Mm. <laughs> Whoa. Eventually I think we're gonna have to give him a bath in the actual tub. Yeah. But I feel like... I need a... Uh... A shower head. There's not a shower head in that bathroom because I took it off to put it in a different bathroom. Oh, because the, the water pressure wasn't very good and we had like a guest that was staying with us and the water pressure in the guest, like their bathroom was not not great, so we switched them. So buddy, we're gonna have to like get your, your little shower all good to go so we can give you uh, baths in your bathroom. Yeah. One day. You gotta give yourself real life baths. Well, no, you won't. We're still gonna bathe you because you're a baby. All right. It's time for this little baby Jackson to go to bed. Is it time for you to go to bed? Oh, come on, Ian. Oh, Every night she gets him excited. I just, I just love him so much. I just love to pat his little bum. Good night, my little babes. Good night, little baby toes. Good night, little stinky butt. Good night. I love you. Good night, little Jackson socks. <laughs> so we started watching the Mandalorian behind the scenes, the Disney gallery show. It was really good. Very interesting. Yeah. But I did find out that I'm very tired and I fell asleep. Oh no, yeah. We watched like four episodes. I think you fell asleep on the fourth one. Yeah. But I will say that episode, it was either two or three. The one guy, I don't remember what his name is. Dave Filoni. Yeah. He did a, where he basically talked through all of the Star Wars movies. Sort of. He... He gave the backbone of the Star Wars movies in the development of Luke's character. It was really cool. It was like the best monologue. It was the the one thing that made me excited to rewatch Star Wars because that's something that I've never gotten into, like the old Star Wars movies, yeah. like the original Star Wars movies. I, I've never been able to get into them. So listening to his monologue about them made me want to watch it. it watch is, them. It's very interesting. Yeah. So that's something that I hope we can do sometime soon. Yeah. I also want to rewatch The Mandalorian. Mandalorian was real good. I'm excited yeah. for season two. Yeah, me too. So, yeah, today was really fun. I love my socks. I'm wearing mine. Yeah. 
Um, I love my cup. Yeah. I love our family. <laughs> Me too. Um, Jackson loved his little like strap cube thingy. Um, he didn't get to play with the baby dolls yet, but they are still being like sanitized now. So hopefully tomorrow he'll get to play with them and we'll see what he thinks. Yeah. I think he's gonna like them. And that dinner tonight, ooh, buddy, that was so good. It was really, really good. I'm gonna leave the um, link for the recipe down below because it was really easy to make and it's stuff that you can just find or you probably already have in your pantry. So. And it was vegetarian? Yeah. Not vegan, vegetarian. Yeah, it would be vegan without the cheese and the sour cream. Right. So if you do vegan cheese and vegan sour cream, it could be vegan. All in all, a fantastic day. Yeah. I had oh, we really ate tomatoes day. today too. Oh, they were good. <laughs> they were good. Forgot about that. Yeah. So all in all, a fantastic day. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to help. So today we're not going to shine a spotlight on a specific organization. What we are going to shine a spotlight on is just black owned businesses in general in your area. So if you are looking to support black owned businesses locally, like within your general, your city, your county, your state, um, I would just recommend going on Google and literally just Googling black owned businesses in where you live. So I Googled Orlando, black owned businesses in Orlando, and I was able to find an entire article just listing out just different, um, in Orlando specifically, different restaurants, some were vegan. There were like dessert restaurants. There was like restaurants that sold popcorn and popsicles and just like really cool sounding places that I had never even heard of. So I'm excited to check these out. I also found jewelry shops that were black owned, art galleries that were black owned, just like all of these really cool places that I just have never heard of before. Yeah. So we'll definitely be checking them out if online at least. I don't know if we can go to them yet. We can go and do some takeout from some of the restaurants Yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, but it just really kind of opened my eyes to places that I just didn't know were in the area. So I think that that's something that if we all do that, um, we might find some things that we didn't know about. Yeah, so, so thank you guys for watching this video. Yeah.